Welcome back to another episode of Diagnostics Done Right. We're here in a 2010 Chevy Tahoe. The uh, two-wheel peeler. She's a wheel on drive. There we go. Throttle, pedal position, sensor switch. Voltage correlation. So that's what we're going to check. All right, we're going to pop the hood. We're going to go to that throttle position sensor and uh, test that real quick. All right, so I smartly looked up the code setting criteria for that code, and it states that there is a correlation between two, the D2 APP, accelerator, pedal, position, sensors. All right. So, are they both built into one unit? And we're gonna go with yes, because there is only one sensor down here. So we're gonna find out what these wires are and test it out. All right, so we, here we are on all data. We're gonna check out this accelerator pedal position sensor. There she is. So APP sensor signal two is the light blue wire. It's gonna be, I believe the second one from the bottom. And then APP sensor one is E, that's gonna be dark blue. And that's the first one in from the top. So we will go check these out. So accelerator pedal position sensor one is the dark blue wire there. APP two is the light blue. We're on, we got a good ground key on. We got just about a bolt. All right, I'm gonna pop over. Back probe, this light blue wire. Uh-oh. All right, so back on all data, just verifying, as we can see, APP sensor one is between uh, 0.88 volts at idle and one volt just under 1.1 volts and then APP sensor 2 is supposed to be a lower voltage uh, we'll see if we add shorts or an open that's what our readings will be all right let's get back all right so sensor Two is supposed to generate up to 0.59 volts at idle. Which it does. It responds. This is supposed to be at 1.0. Oh, that's not. Let's get her up in there. Boom. Oh. Buddy, did we find our problem? Out of limit. Out of limit. Out of limit. We need an APP All sensor. Right, That's cool. easy diagnosis. Need an accelerator pedal position sensor. It has an open 
direct open. Boom. No other tests in there. We are back with the 2010 Tahoe. We diagnosed last week the accelerator pedal position sensor, which is part of the pedal assembly. A brand spanking new one, straight from GM. No Dorman replacement here. So we're gonna pop this guy out, test everything, make sure it's good. <clears throat> Took the electrical connector out, and then there is one. She's up there hidden. Two Torx. Uh, 27, T27. So we're gonna get this guy swapped out. Pop the new one in. So we got the old one out. Of course, I think it was. Sensor one, maybe sensor two, uh, that kept having an out of limit. So there's a direct short in the windings. I'm gonna pop this new one in. Check it out. It's all snugged up. Took the spec. Only nine foot pounds, so just good and tight. <clears throat> Get it hooked back up, get my voltmeter hooked up, and make sure everything is good. So what I didn't mention was that this is what they call a drive-by wire system. So this, this gas pedal doesn't actually do anything but send a signal to the TCM or the, the PCM slash ECM, whatever it is whatever have you and that's how the vehicle knows how to accelerate once those windings get messed up and that signal starts getting all wonky then it's not able to uh make sense of the data and you get loss of throttle you get that throttle code now Anyone who had just pulled the code and wanted to throw some parts, they would have put a new throttle body. They probably would have put a new one of these on eventually, but that's why we test. Just a quick aside, we were testing just to make sure we had the 5 volt, five volt reference. There's a 5 volt reference for both of the sensors. Uh, the tan and the white and black. If we had had multiple codes for multiple units, that would have been the first thing we'd check. We would just verify that both of those have five volts on it. All right, our APP sensor two is this one here. We have 0.48 volts, key on, engine off. And then APP sensor one. Of course, it's a higher voltage. We're just gonna start her up to make sure everything's good. I'm gonna clear this code as well. There we go, DTCs. Accelerator, panel, position, sensor, one, two, correlation. So we're going to erase codes. This, this, this thing is taking forever. Just to say no codes present. have a lot of gas so we don't have a lot of time for testing let's get our 
Astro back on. Alright, now if you remember. That's the one that we had the issue on. I'll have to double check. Oh, buddy. Did we find our problem? Out of limit. Come back. Sensor two. Let's see if we have a correlation issue. No fault codes detected. No fault codes detected. Wait for this one more time. She should be good. <sighs> Go back up to sensor one. Oh. Nope. That was the five volt reference. Let's get a good connection. We got the full range, full range. She's still establishing no fault codes detected. And there you have it, folks. Test on guess. Get it done right. Thanks for watching. A little bonus footage on this APP sensor. You can see when we take, take this off, these brushes. They just sweep across here. And that's how it is able to decipher how hard you push in the pedal. Pretty neat stuff. I can't check. I might be able to check continuity, but. Let's see. Let me check. chopsticks Yeah, so see, we could actually test. <clears throat> we can actually test on the bench, and we would be able to see that open. But yeah. Yeah, these two pins. This one here, this one here. That's for sensor one. This one here and here, that's for sensor two. Sends the signal up there. This one sends it through that one. <clears throat> fun, fun. But they're actually like, if we can get her to focus, just little brushes.
There we go.